Clemson isn't dead yet. The Tigers hurt their playoff chances with a loss to Notre Dame two weeks ago, but a bounce-back 31-16 win over Louisville might have salvaged their season. Now at 9-1, they face the 5-5 Miami Hurricanes, who got a much-needed blowout win over Georgia Tech last week. Mario Cristobal doesn't have the, the U where he wants it just yet, but an upset win over Clemson would go a long way for this program. The Tigers are big favorites at home in Death Valley. Clemson is sticking with DJ Wigalier at quarterback, and that makes its offense manageable, but by no means dynamic. Last week, the Tigers scored 31 points, but DJ only threw for 185 yards and one touchdown on 19 for 27 passing. It was their running game that did the bulk of the damage. Miami hasn't been good this year, but the Hurricanes are 38th in the country at stopping the run and 48th in points allowed. Their defense should do a decent job of forcing DJ to make throws, and that is when the Clemson offense tends to stall out. However, I think Clemson will be able to wear them down and break through. The only ranked team that Miami has played in its last five weeks was number 19 Florida State, who dominated the U 45-3. Florida State is 11th in total defense and held Miami to 188 total yards. Clemson isn't as good defensively, but they're close. I faded Clemson's offense all season, but I'll trust them to cover a big spread this weekend. Give me Clemson minus 19 as the play here. What say you? Let me know. Comment section below. As always, Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Good luck and go get them. This is Trending Rabbit.